Grenada. In EU4, this is a small Muslim country in southern Iberia that always gets conquered by Castile. The question is though, how did this country lasting 250 years actually fall in the late 1400s? And today, you're going to find that out in this video. But first, 70% of you who watch our videos aren't subscribed, so please consider clicking that button if you like EE4 and history content. Going back to the beginning, Granada was established in 1230 by King Mohammed I, who was in power for over 40 years and founded the Nazareth dynasty. The Granadan leader was politically astute and changed allegiances to Castile by sending his forces to help Castile take territory in exchange for a 20-year truce and becoming a Castilian vassal. This switching between Muslims and Christians wasn't particularly popular with both sides. However, it certainly allowed Granada to survive. This reason combined with the fact that Granada had a natural border due to the Sierra Nevada mountain range allowed Granada to be the last independent Muslim state on the peninsula, with Muslim refugees flocking to the country. During the 14th century, Granada made efforts to control the Strait of Gibraltar. The Granadan leader at the time, Mohammed III, seemed to have succeeded by controlling both Soweto and Gibraltar. However, a powerful coalition would soon change this at the Battle of Rio Salado. Despite the Muslim forces having three times as many troops as the Christians, they were heavily defeated and never again would they be able to invade the Iberian Peninsula. During this time, Castile continued to invade Granada, taking cities on the outskirts of the country. However, due to the Black Death, and with the death of the Castilian king Alfonso XI, Castile had little appetite for war and signed a peace treaty with Granada in 1350. In the late part of the 14th century, Granada heavily benefited from the gold trade routes of Mali and gave Castile tributes. Castile also had internal struggles, which led to Granada keeping positive relations with their overlord and consequently weren't threatened by Castile. The circumstances of the peninsula would dramatically change, however, in the next century, with Granada's complete demise by the end of it. In the beginning of the 15th century, with the death of the Emir Yusuf III, Internal struggles within Granada began, and constant civil war occurred, with clan loyalty trumping loyalty to the Emir. These civil wars caused Granada to become weak and lose power, with the Emir oftentimes only holding the city of Granada while the rebels held on to the rest of the nation. The Catholic powers also changed their view as 1407 marked the start of Castilian ambitions into Granada. Granada then lost important territories to Castile, such as Gibraltar in 1462. The true offensive came in 1479, when Ferdinand and Isabella, who joined together under the Iberian wedding, wanted to unite the Iberian Peninsula under the Castilian banner. The major mistake of the Emir was the mismanagement of the economy, meaning funds could not be paid to their Castilian overlord. This, along with an incursion by Granadan clans into a border village, gave Ferdinand and Isabella the excuse they needed to declare war on Granada, and in 1482, it led to the Ten-Year Granada War. The original goal was to placate the country and reduce it to a city-sized vassal. However, as the war dragged on, it was decided total conquest was required. The war began with Castilians, supported by the Pope, successfully taking cities throughout Granada, using powerful cannons that significantly shortened sieges. As the war went sour for Granada, the king's son, Mohammed XII, was taken prisoner early on, but was given freedom in return for not intervening in the siege of Malaga, which consequently meant the city collapsed in 1487. Shortly after this, Mohammed's father was killed, and Mohammed's claim to the throne was solidified. Castile followed up their success and sieged Baza, which was one of the most important strongholds remaining in Granada. The siege was painfully long, and Baza could be defended easily, Despite this, the Baza garrison surrendered in six months. The final stand of the Granadans would then take place in the city of Granada. The Sultan asked for help in the Muslim world, but his messages did not receive an answer, and North Africa continued to sell Castile wheat. An eight-month-long siege of the Granadan city then began in April 1491. The situation for the defenders then became dire, with advisors scheming against each other, and the Sultan eventually surrendered and the city capitulated on January 2nd, 1492, ending the country of Granada. 
After the surrender, the humiliated Amir was told by his mother, you weep like a woman for what you can hold as a man. Thank you guys for watching and check out some of my other videos.